Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. So it's time to make some more miniature beds. I've made plenty of these before, but I usually run them on the mini, and this time I wanted to run them on the MK4. So I did switch the profile over to Input Shaper, and I am running this on the newest slicer, the 2.7.0 Alpha. And then I go and export it like I normally do, and I already have the USB plugged in, so I just save this. My names are ridiculously long on all of my files. This is the USB that I saved it onto, and then I go and plug it into my MK4. Of course, I can never get this correct the first try, but here we are. And when it loads, it loads the file before it. These were some TPU cushions that I had been printing. That's not what I want to print now. So I think, okay, I'll just back up and find the right file. And I can't find it. All of these are TPU cushions that I've been messing with and that's not what I'm looking for. So maybe I accidentally saved it to the C drive. I've done that before, so I'll do it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it again. Not a big deal. Okay, well now it's asking me to overwrite it. So I say no, and I'm just going to rename it. Maybe there was something kind of funny with that one, and I just need to start over, start fresh, and this will be the trick. Usually I'll put the date on it if I'm trying to be very specific about which, which file is the one that I'm doing that day. Okay, now I'm back at my MK4, plugged in, and it loads to the TPU cushions again. So I look to see if there's anything else. No, all I'm seeing are previous things that I had sliced before, but this is my input shaper Mark IV. So I think, okay, well maybe, maybe that's the issue. Maybe that's not compatible with other things. So I've got this other one ready. There's nothing on it. So let me just swap out the drive on this one and see if this one loads. Maybe there was something funny with that first one. This one also loads the cushions, not the bed that I'm looking for. And this is not an input shaper, this is a regular stock one. So I'm a little stumped, what is going on? I get a new USB drive that has nothing else on it and I slice this again, I save it again to this new USB. Maybe that was the issue, maybe the USB was being funny. I'm back on the first MK4 that I have been trying to print this on and nothing pulls up when I plug this in. When I go to print, nothing shows. There are zero G codes showing. That is so weird. Okay, I'm gonna try it on the second MK4 that I have in line. Doesn't matter that the print bed's not ready. Let me just see what happens when I plug this in because I had run something on this printer just a little bit ago same thing. This one is also not an input shaper. It doesn't have the most up-to-date firmware, but I'm not seeing anything on this one. There's no G-code showing. So I think, okay, fine. Maybe something's funny with this particular file, this design. So let me swap over to the next thing that I need to print. This is an insert for the bed, and it's also already sliced for the MK4. Let me see if this one will work. I slice this one and save it. This is the newer USB that didn't have anything else on it. I see the bed print, but let's see if this mattress, the insert will work. I see two G codes on it. Surely this has got to be the trick. So I'm back at my first MK4, the input shaper one. I have two files on there and it's not seeing anything. I go to print, there's nothing showing. Okay, now second in line. This one is not the latest firmware, not input shaper, nothing. It won't pull up anything, doesn't show anything. Let's go to number three. I do have three MK4s right in a line, so I can do this in case I have something crazy happen. Same thing, nothing is showing. I've been printing on these printers. I've been printing on all of them. So what is the issue? So I start thinking about this one that I had just printed this morning, the TPU one, and I realize that this one I had sliced on a different computer. So then it finally hits me, 
It's the Alpha. I had been running both of these new prints that I was trying to print on the Alpha 2.7.0 because I have to run that for the Prusa XL. But I hadn't updated the slicer on my second computer. I have two of them running. I have two girls that are there part time. This one is 2.6.1. I hadn't had a chance to update it, and this was the one that I was able to print on this morning, the TPU cushions that printed correctly. So on this printer with this slicer, I'm going to open this same file and slice it in this other slicer and see if that works. I'm even going to use the same USB that I had put the two other files from the 2.7.0 that weren't showing on the printer. And I find it interesting that when I finally click down to that USB, it's showing that there's nothing on it. So at this point, I'm guessing that the G code compression that the 2.7.0 alpha is doing to send files fast is having an issue with the Mark IVs. So this new one that I sliced on the older slicer, I plug in, it immediately pops up. That's the file I'm looking for. And when I go to print, that's the only file that's showing. That's the only G code that I'm seeing. And when I click on it, it starts to print. So what am I missing? Am I supposed to be updating the firmware on every single printer every time Prusa comes up with something new? Shouldn't they be compatible? So I had this whole video ready to go and I was just going to ask, you know, if anybody else is having the same issue that I am having. And then I woke up this morning and saw that Prusa had released a new slicer. I was a little bit hesitant to just download the newest thing just because, but I look in the description and sure enough, one of the big things that it's showing in bold print is important note for including the MK4, the new configuration update will enable binary G-code and G2, G3 features. Users using older firmware need to update to 5.1.0 alpha 2 or later or manually turn these features off, which is what I must have needed to do. Turn the features off because I don't think there's an alpha 2 ready yet for the MK4. On older, on older, firmware new binary G code is not visible or recognized and the G2, G3, G codes may not work perfectly. So that's exactly what I was finding. And I am glad that literally the next day after I have a problem, Prusa launched a new slicer that fixes the issue. Well, I guess let's not get ahead of ourselves. So I'm in the 2.7.0 beta. I have the same file. I'm going to slice this and see if it'll show now on my MK4. And I'm gonna name it as the beta so that I can make sure what I'm actually seeing. Okay, let's plug this in and see if it shows up. So it looks like it's just showing the single one that I sliced on the 2.6 last night because when I go to print, I'm only seeing one and that's not the one I just sliced this morning and labeled the beta. So I think I misunderstood that bold blurb from Prusa. I was thinking it meant that the previous one, the alpha of the slicer needed to have the 5.1 of the firmware, but obviously they're saying that anything needs to have that firmware, which I don't have that firmware yet on my Mark IV. And honestly, I don't really want to run an alpha on every single machine that I have. But it just makes me wonder if you guys like to get the newest, greatest thing, or if you hold off a little bit, do you not like alphas? Do you only like betas? Um, I usually don't like alphas at all, betas sometimes, but I feel like with XL, I've kind of been forced to try it out because it needs those new updates. So let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching.